Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about Elastic Container Registry. So basically, Elastic Container Registry, also known as ECR, is a private Docker image repository that is used to store container images. In this lecture, I'll give you a brief overview of how images work and we'll also be building as well as pushing these images to ECR. So let's get started. So basically you can see that we have got a docker file right here. So docker file is required for building a docker image. It is a template or a manifest that describes the base image to be used for your docker image and also includes the installation details for your application. On running on building this docker file, we'll be getting a docker image and these images become containers when they run on docker engine. So, these docker images need to be stored collectively, right? So that we can keep a track of different versions of these docker images. Right. So for that, we have got repositories wherein we store these images. Right. So we have got public Docker repository that is Docker Hub. Okay. And ECR is also one such repository which provides us with both of those options that is private as well as public. In this lecture, we'll be creating a Docker file. And from that Docker file, we'll be creating a Docker image and then pushing that Docker image to our ECR. Okay. So in this case, we'll be considering ECR right here. And the steps that we are going to follow are, we'll be first creating an ECR repository. Then we'll be creating a Docker image, which we want to push to this particular ECR repository and then we'll push that image to this repo okay so now let's go to our ecr dashboard and create the repository so now you can see that this is my ecr dashboard i'll be clicking on this to create an ecr repository now in here i'll be keeping the settings as private and entering the name of my repository that is my web app okay and i'll also enable the scan on push as well as the encryption okay and create repository now you can see that my repository got created now we are done with this process of creating an elastic container registry now we want to create a docker image so the requirement for the docker image is a docker file right so i will be making use of an ec2 instance for creating this docker image okay and its operating system right here is of type linux okay so first of all i'll go to this particular link wherein we are they have mentioned a detailed process of how to create a docker image okay so so that we can push this image to our amazon ecr so basically i'll be first creating a docker file i'll copy this and i'll be pasting it right here okay so now you can see that I have created a file named docker file, but I need to add the content, right? So they have given us a sample docker file. I'll be copying it as it is. Okay. And I'll be inserting the text right here. Now you can see that in this case, they have used this particular Ubuntu image wherein they have updated and installed the Apache 
and after that they have added this particular hello world text to their index.html and also they have added few commands that are required in our shell script named run underscore apache.sh and after that they have added few permissions to it then exposed it on port 80 and this is the cmd that is the command that we want to run once our container is running okay so that's it for this i will save this particular file and come out of it okay now what we'll have to do is we'll have to build this particular docker file okay so for that we have got this particular command right but in this case what is more important is we want to push or build push this image to this particular repository so we'll be viewing these push commands right here first okay so first of all you can see that we want to retrieve an authentication token and authenticate your docker client to your registry so for use for doing this we'll be making use of aws cli right now for making use of aws cli we require to configure aws so we'll be first configuring it via this command that is aws configure right and now i'll be adding the access key as well as secret keys for of my uh, user that is assigned to that particular user right i'll be entering them right here for the region i'll keep it as default and same for the output format as well now we are done with configuring aws cli now what i can do is i can copy this command as it is and paste it right here okay now you can see that it shows me login su succeeded right so why does it show that because within my iam console the user that i am using right now or i have logged in logged in right now is nothing but gia 17 and it has got an administrator access because of which i was able to log in successfully okay now i have logged in now what i'll do is i'll create my docker image with this particular command why because we want to push our image to the repository that's named as my web app so i'll be copying this particular command and pasting it right here okay since i am in the same folder as that of docker file i'll be using dot if your docker file is in some other folder you need to pass that particular path instead of this particular dot right here okay so now we can see that our image is built okay now the next step that we'll be doing is adding this particular tag to our image okay sorry this particular tag we already have got the image that is my web app that we created just now and now we'll be adding this tag to it okay so i'll just copy this and paste it right here now the tag is also added if you want to see the docker image you can just go and type docker image sorry it's docker Now you can see that this image this 
tag got added to the particular image that I created, right? Now, after this, we will be pushing our Docker image with this particular command. So I'll be pushing it. Now the pushing process is in progress. Now you can see that my image got pushed over here. Now let's close this. And we can see that the latest image has been pushed to our ECR repository. Okay, so in this way, we'll be creating the ECR repository and accordingly pushing our Docker image to this particular repo, right? So, hope you found the video helpful. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful. Also, don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you so much and have a nice day.